Yeah, that's good. Tops of water bottles, which normally the PET folks don't really like because it doesn't give them version PET to regrind. Our theory is if they can pull it out and reuse it or regrind it, they should do so. It's a more valuable stream. We are the bottom feeders in the polymer market because we want the co-molded, co-extruded, the things you can't split apart. The films that are multiple layers, etc. This is plastic that came out of the pickup truck that broke through the fence and careened into the side of the, uh, the hill there. So, so Charlie we'll, was able to salvage something off of them that was of value. Give it a fitting burial. We have no shame. The uh, thin film with metal, uh, metal on it, we strip the polymer from the metal. We don't get hot enough to melt aluminum. So we can salvage aluminum. We get the little Capri Sun drink boxes. We can take the aluminum out and get the char that's left. We want, uh, and butter tubs with a little butter on them. It's all good. You may have seen the peanut butter jars and all that. These are some uh, paint buckets that if we put it in the shredder, we'd have a big gooey gummy mess, so we didn't. Uh, Nick, if you have any uh, preference, let me know. We've got carpeting. Yeah. The big challenge here is deciding which containers go in and which we, we, uh, we keep. Cause <laughs> if it's got a handle on it, it generally doesn't <laughs> it's go still in. Good, yeah. Although, if in a plant situation, you'd probably shred it and then recover the metal magnetically before it goes into the processor. The big piece is it anyway. Top bottles, PET, number one. Yeah, that. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. Here, give it you to You want me. that? Yeah. In, in most of these uh, recycling centers, they pull out visually because they have to turn the product upside down. They wasted the value of it and labor. So, but, you know, a little bit of peanut butter on the jar. Your favorite, David, right? We'll take what they, uh, what they don't pull out. Some strapping from construction site. It's PET cord that's been over molded with PolyPro. These are off-spec uh, virgin pellets. They have about 30% glass in them. So you're not going to get uh, polymer out of glass. We have a lot of dirt going in. You'd be surprised the amount of fillers in plastic, right, David? Yes. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a lot of uh, weight in the plastic, which is, uh, gives it different properties and it's probably lower in price. We've got construction tarps here. Uh, we stopped at a construction and demolition site and asked if they had any buckets and tarps. And before I could get my pickup out, I had uh, almost a ton loaded on with a, with a rubber tire loader in bales. So they, uh, they were looking to get rid of it. Signage out of stores. Foam, it's a polystyrene foam with a styrene outer layer. How long does the ad, the ad run for? How long does the uh, sign stay up? Yeah. A lot of the problem we have in, in loading this is more of a volumetric because uh, polymers are so fluffy. So, you know, we, we do shred some of the stuff to try and densify it so we can get above uh, the 250 pound mark, which is what we used to run. Now we're running around 350 to 400. Fit in. We had to get Charlie uh, smaller shoes so we could densely pack with his foot before. To the floor. So there's the rubber uh, hip weight. These have seen better days. Okay, we're done with that one. Okay. What else? Tires. Oh, yeah. Styrofoam. I, don't know, I think the styrofoam bag must still be in there. Yeah, it is. 